Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to Brusom Hall for the wedding of Dean and Carla. Dean and Carla wish to marry, for in each other's company they have found fulfillment and love. As a consequence of this love, they have drawn closer and now wish to offer each other the security that comes from legally binding vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Dean Berners for Shirley, to take these Carla Louise Catterall to be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Carla Louise Catterall, do take thee, Dean Bernard for Shirley, <laughs> to be my lawful wedded husband. The purpose of marriage is that you may always love, care and support each other through all the joys and sorrows of life and that love may be fulfilled in a relationship of permanent and continuing commitment and having symbolised your marriage by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, it's now my great pleasure to tell you, you are legally married, you are husband and wife, please give each other a kiss. Our story starts in first year at Christ the King's School, believe it or not, over 25 years ago. We were best mates straight away and spent most nights for years hanging out at my dad's house, playing computer games, listening to music and generally chilling out. Growing up in a household with Sarah and Jean, it's not hard to see why Dean would value a strong-minded and independent woman. She is funny and feisty, has a strong sense of social conscience and will get behind any good cause. She's a fantastic conversationalist. She's protective, loyal, and decent. Unless you play her at a board game, party game, or quiz. <laughs> Dean might be a big show off. He might be a pretty boy who spends too long sculpting his quiff. But he's also my most loyal and valued friend. Life has taken us on very different paths and circumstances have kept us apart for long times, but I've always known I could count on him. He's never once been too busy to speak to me. When my brother died, he refused to let me retreat. When I could have easily fallen apart, he was almost irritatingly persistent, offering advice, checking up on me, pulling me back from the brink and forcing me to look forward and be positive. He's always willing to help in whatever way he can. And he's never let me down. I'm delighted that Dean and Carla have found each other and I couldn't be happier that two of my best friends have got married today. I wish them all the luck in the world. Me and Carl have been together for 10 years now and we just seem to get better with time. You truly are my better half and I really wouldn't know what to do without you. You give me two gorgeous girls and some, you support me in everything I do. Um, <laughs> you're always thinking of other people and their feelings and you go to the end of the world to help anyone and that's what I love about you. We're different people, different personalities and some mornings I wake up grumpy, sometimes I just let you sleep. <laughs> I've been lucky enough to fall in love with my best friend and I've spent the best 10 years of my life with you and look forward to spending the rest of my dying days by your side. Oh, I love you very much.
Well, 22 years in Cohen, and that, that's it from me, except to say that I hope Dean and Carla's journey through married life takes them everywhere they want to go. At a respectable speed, with all the latest and best equipment that money can buy, and without any unnecessary diversions through farmers' fields. Can I now ask you to raise your glasses on this happy day for these wonderful people, and join me in a toast to Dean and Carla, to the bride and the groom. The bride and groom.